far enough to reach under the corporation of that system. Sorry, Maria. Can you go back to that previous slide, sir? Um, you were in the PAR for practically 18 months. Um, you showed us about eight reforms which seem from the outside very, very substantial and very, very difficult to implement. Looking back, um, what worked? What allowed you, in very a short amount of time, to have been able to put all of these things in place? And many of which I think, as taxpayers, you still enjoy as, as, as citizens of this country. Uh, I think, okay, my advantage, okay, uh, was I was a tax practitioner. As I mentioned a while ago, I practiced taxation, okay, with, okay, through agencies for almost, okay, 30 years. And as I said, okay, I have learned, okay, the good, the bad, and the active practice of the So, in a way, I think I have Okay, full knowledge okay, of the tax law okay, and the processes in the agency. I think that's one advantage. The second advantage okay, was that I got a good, okay, group of tax professionals okay, who identify okay, what okay, are the short things okay, that we need to do so that the short things okay, will enable us to reach to the long term. I think it's important to demonstrate, okay, to the people in the agency, as well as to the tax paying public, okay, that you know small reforms like this are very important. Now moving on, okay, what is the vision? It's basically a simple vision, okay, and this is okay the. The vision okay, that okay, we follow in crafting both okay, the short-term program as well, as well as the long-term program. Simple. We need okay, a tax law, regulations that is simple, easy to interpret and understand. Integrated. Okay, now, there are two major types of taxes. Direct taxes, income tax is a direct tax, but it's an indirect tax. You've got to make one from the other. Because okay, if okay, a taxpayer okay, is reporting its indirect tax part, then okay, rightfully it will be forced also to report okay, the direct tax to the state tax. So you've got to connect okay, both the direct and indirect tax. Market sensitive. Okay, uh, I think it's important, okay, to achieve efficiency in the agency, to know your customers. You've got to segment, okay, the tax paying public. Now, to be able also, okay, one, to monitor, okay, their sources of income, but at the same time, how you can develop programs and projects to enable the, them to increase their level of tax. Progressive technology, okay, you know, my experience is that attending that six month course, okay, actually opened my eyes that efficiency and transparency in tax administration, okay, is very possible. You've got, okay, to have technology to help you achieve efficiency, okay, in tax administration. Level, okay, the playing field. Uh, there is a provision in the Constitution Okay, that we need to evolve a progressive and equitable form of taxation. Okay, now, what do I mean by this? Okay, now it simply means that similarly tax, similarly okay, situated taxpayer should be treated and taxed similarly, but also equitably. And the last is okay, evolving. You've got to adjust. A tax system, a tax process should also be dynamic. You've got to adjust okay, to the changing business and social environment. Now, what is the strategy? This strategy okay, is okay, the long term strategy. Okay. It consists of three parts. Okay. 
you. There is a need to reform the tax policy and tax administration. There is a need to institutionalize elements of a new tax system and adopt transformation trends. Let me cover the first one. The first one consists of three parts also. Rewrite a simple and fair tax code. I think, okay, the vision that I okay, explained a while ago, okay, explained it in a very simple way. Reinvent the tax regulatory agency. Okay. This is part okay, of the challenge to capacitate the institution. If you don't capacitate the institution, it's difficult okay, to improve tax administration. It's difficult to improve okay, how the agency will serve the taxing public. But you cannot capacitate okay, the institution unless you also capacitate the individuals working in that institution. Re-engineer tax processes. Okay. You've got to have processes that support the system. Without the right tax processes, any system will fail. So the system okay, and processes okay, are connected. Now, what are the elements of the new okay, tax system? I think it's also very similar okay, to this simple vision. Fair and lower <coughs> rates that encourage correct tax payment, simple, transparent, taxpayer-friendly processes, taxpayer-focused, streamlined, autonomous regulatory agency, competent okay, and professional motivated workforce, and performance-oriented organization. Now these are the elements okay, of really okay, a new tax agency and hopefully okay, a more simple tax system for the country. I mentioned a while ago, okay, the market, okay, you know, you've got to be market sensitive, the segment, okay, the taxpayer segmentation. Uh, we were successful in requesting okay, the president to issue executive order 114. Executive Order 114 okay, authorized the Commissioner of Internal Revenue to segment the taxpayer population into four. Okay. Now there is existing large taxpayer unit, okay, but apart from this, apart from that, we also created okay, three other segments. Namely, non-large, which consists of small, medium okay, okay, companies. The third is individual. When you talk of individual taxpayers, we talk about lawyers, professionals, we talk about consultants, we talk about single proprietors. Okay, so this is the segment okay, that covers individual taxpayers. And the fourth is government and tax exempt organizations. Under the tax exempt organization, okay, foundations, NGOs are included okay, in that segment. Now, okay, this is very important okay, to be more responsive. Okay, to the needs okay, of this segment, but at the same time, okay, you develop system okay, to monitor okay, their tax compliance. Whether okay, this, okay, the taxpayers belonging to the four segments are correctly reporting okay, their sources of revenue. In this slide, okay, I think I'd like us to emphasize okay, the importance okay, of processes. Okay. Without the right processes, it will be difficult to okay, really achieve efficiency. Okay. And okay, that's the reason why okay, in the seven or eight items okay, that we were able okay, to okay, uh, craft okay, and implement What's embedded okay, in those projects and programs are the right processes. Let me just share with you okay, a, a quote from okay, Colin Powell okay, that talks about simplification. Great leaders are almost always great simplifiers who can cut through argument, debate, and doubt to offer a solution everybody can understand.